The DPPHSA is a widely used method for determining the antioxidant activity of various compounds. In this assay, the stable free radical DPPH is reduced by antioxidants, which results in a color change from purple to yellow. The extent of the color change is proportional to the antioxidant activity of the compound being tested. This assay is simple, fast, and reliable and can be used to screen a large number of samples for their antioxidant activity. You will need these materials for experiment. It is ideal to use 9 to 6 well plate based protocol for accuracy and fast result. To prepare DPPH solution, dissolve 8 mg of DPPH powder in 100 ml of methanol to make a 0.2 mm solution. Students also need to prepare test samples in methanol to make a stock solution at a suitable concentration. I suggest 50 mg per milliliter. To prepare plate for test, add 10 microliter of test samples and gallic acid standards to 9 to 6 well plate in triplicates. After adding all samples, add 190 microliter of DPPH solution using multi-channel pipette. After 30 minutes of incubation under dark condition, you can measure absorbance at 517 nm using microplate reader. Based on Professor Ku's prior research, the lambda max of a DPPH solution is 517 nanometer. His article notes that the use of DPPH in acidic conditions can produce inaccurate results. Result can be expressed as gallic acid equivalent concentration based on standard curve. Here's a helpful tip for you if your sample was extracted using water, it may have a high protein content. If this is the case, the protein in your sample will precipitate in a methanol solution of DPPH. Therefore, it is recommended to extract the sample using a high proportion of methanol or ethanol. According to Hewing et al., the DPPH assay is an electron transfer reactions assay. Thus, the assay result highly correlated with other ET-based assays including TAC, FREP, and total phenols assay by Fallen Siakultu reagent. Good luck for your experiment.